I'll read four. This is the first one. Tops of their heads. Fathers see their babies first. Tops of their soft little heads crowned at the birth canal. Mothers push their babies out with vigor, finding hard labor's exhaustion, trusting others' hands. Our babies go through life this way, pushed out head first into the world, into the hands and arms of strangers. Sometimes they grow up adult, never getting over that shove into midair, as if they were dropped on their heads. And maybe they were. <laughs> At the end of January, Sunny imagines a summer day. Swish sway, walking, torso loose, palms down, wrists up, fingers splayed out above the yellow grass seed tops, naked as a jaybird, cool mud under bare feet, sun kissing hair and shoulders, undulating with the wanty walk, everything young again, the day, the body, season, field, water, harvest. Tiny whirring hummingbirds whisper quiet bunny cries, entice her swish sway walking along. She stops, listens, <coughs> one hip forward, toes lift, off she steps in motion, flirting, sweet, the gold horizon. <laughs> Song for a Daughter, Third Days Clean. In the midst of her returning, you can feel the spreading stillness where anguish wrapped your breast. This moment of her spoken love, worth the 20 years it took her to discover how you waited, why you waited, while she moved through life like wet cement. Before the gray sludge hardened into forms she could not break, she somehow softened, became pliant, putty in her own hands to shape a new world she might yet inhabit. She widens her landscape, invites your voice, asks you to sing her back home. The brilliance of sunset rings with reprieve, no hard glare of morning claiming its gong, not yet. Just this stillness, this peace, this brush stroke of luck, this <coughs> simple, grateful moment holding its breath. This is my last poem. I've read this before here, so uh, you can tell me if you like this version better. I wasn't going to read it, but Jessica told me it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. But like crocus bursting through sun. To hurry spring, I wear a bright blue skirt, form-fitted rib. It tricks the eye, makes my thighs succulent, butt high, as if I were young. I wear a red knit sweater, scoop necked. I've harnessed my breasts in a tight red bra, trico and lace, Underwire lift, slightly padded. I've added skinny black tights, zigzag <laughs> pattern, eye dazzling from skirt hem to boot top. Oh yes, the boots. Long, supple, up the calf leather, buckled straps at the ankles, doubles at the knees to please the undoers of closures. <laughs> to snubbed round the sweater, a scarf of sequined gauze, hyacinth blue, primrose red, snowdrop white, clouds of pink gold float across my collarbone, begging to be touched. And did you say panties? <laughs> Red bikinis under the tights, not like ice under the snow, but hot springs. May I say the panties match my lipstick in color and shape, degrees of smooth and slick, depending on moisture, like slips of melt over ice, enough to send a man to his knees or sprawling. <laughs> <laughs>